happened is you notice there's a very, I did not send the story to you, but um, um, Goldman Sachs settled with SEC. Goldman Sachs settled with SEC. Yep. There's yep. there's that Washington Times editorial that you sent us about the pro-life groups say that for the they have evidence now that the Obama administration, the health care bill really does fund abortions. Abortions really does fund um, abortions mm -hmm. in the, in the uh, high-risk insurance pools, yeah. I called the, the Pennsylvania Insurance Department yesterday to see mm -hmm. what their response is, but they and they sent me a statement of their, and it's just like, the first paragraph was them flatly denying that, mm -hmm. and then the last paragraph was saying like, basically they were they were bashing like pro-life groups without using pro-life groups names um, and saying that you know just we're not going to not give help people have health care um, just because a few people are worried about abortion blah blah, blah. so I don't know what they're saying mm -hmm. in this. interesting it'd be fun to bring that in because if um, they just flatly deny it's one thing but then they also yeah. attacked yeah why would you flatly deny it so I don't really know what they're saying <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah and the HHS, um, their statement was really convoluted. I don't even know what they're trying to say. <laughs> they mentioned the state of Pennsylvania, but then they talked about other things. I'm like, okay. So how yeah. to wad wade through these like jargon? Yeah, um, yeah. That's um, that's uh, uh, that could be a project for us. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I, and it really should be a project. You know, and, and, and if, if we decide that that's the project, we have to make a decision here at some point. But uh, that's a very good because it, okay now we're off on the chase okay now now you've gotten um, yes you did no I didn't gobbledygook 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 okay so now that now it gets fun right not you know, for 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 an investigative reporter it's sort of all the all the makings for some fun now okay because gee you know I mean um, um, Michelle is asking all the right questions why did they if they deny it all I have to do is send it. no that's not true there's and and, and they didn't really give you an argument as to did they give you a sort of a concrete case is closed there's a flat prohibition in the in the uh, high risk insurance pools on, on money I could spending pull up the, the statement right now that they sent okay. yeah so then you sort of have to sit there and, and you know I was like okay they're denying it they're denying it. and then the third paragraph they said like all these things I'm like why did you just say that if yeah why did, did you let it rip if you're, it's not true yeah I was like and it took them uh, the story was broke by the NRLC on Tuesday, yeah. but they didn't release a statement until Thursday. Mm -hmm. So they took time to think about it, obviously. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and then that is a classic piece of investigation. So now we have, you know, we have one, you know, you say potato, I say potato. Uh, 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 um, um, and uh, where's the truth? Uh, how do we help the planet? Right? Now we got the, all the, like I say, all the makings. Um, but you got also the, remember I said there's no there there? There's, a, there's no there there? statement that was they gave you a there's no there there there's no there there you know what should you do remember in uh, Star Wars these aren't the droids you're looking for remember, remember Star Wars you guys are it's like it's like Star Wars so old that no one even knows all the analogies anymore <laughs> that would be very sad for me <laughs> it's so sad but there's a scene where you know never there's a scene where um, <laughs> Obi Wan Kenobi um, uses um, his uh, Jedi mind tricks to tell the stormtrooper that you know, they're all they're looking for R two D two and uh, um, um, and, and, and C three PO. Uh, you know, they're, they're they're robots of interest uh, from the, for the uh, for the uh, and, and they're standing there and the guards are looking at the the the, 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 the people they're supposed to be arresting the two robots they're supposed to be arresting. And, these aren't the droids you're looking at, and the Stormtrooper says, "These aren't the droids I'm looking at. I'm looking for." It was, it's you know classic Jedi mind trick. So anyway, I mean, I, I I use it a lot because people try to do that. I mean, in in, in the news business, they really try to. Do, These aren't the droids you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, I mean, there's this. That's that's um. That's why generally I don't like press conferences. I mean, it's, it's I mean every press conference is a sort of a version of the ludicrous. White House press score, you know, um, um, it is just I, I don't like them. I don't ever ask questions in a press conference because I'm just giving other reporters my my angle. You know, I just uh, I, I sit there and I watch. Okay, why why are they saying what they're saying? I'm trying to figure out the press 
strategy behind the press conference. That's the most interesting, interesting thing about the press conference. Mm -hmm. Why did they come up with that and try to you know, sort of reverse engineer um, 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 conceptually what is happening? You know, why would, because remember, press conference, you know, if you, were, if you had a program, you'd sit down and you'd go to get to with your friends, what's the best thing we can say? Like, what's the best vision we can cast for this? Because we want everyone to love us at the end of the press conference. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I, I love to be loved, uh, 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 but I'm not paid to be likable as a journalist, you know, uh, I'm just not, you know, I, I don't want them, you know, I don't want to love them. <laughs> I mean, professional, you know, I just, you know, it's, it's, it's just your, you know, it, it, I think I'm going to make a little aside, um, as a Christian, especially, I mean, one of the biggest um, occupational uh, hazards of uh, being a journalist is, um, is uh, cynicism. Um, skepticism is professionally required professionally. Um, cynicism uh, starts to kill um, um, your story and your soul. Um, uh, so um, it's very important to, to, to be on cynic cynicism watch. You know, that's why we, we, we often switch reporters' beats. Um, at some point, we sort of notice them going from skepticism to cynicism. What are some of the signs? Help. Don't seen it all before. Us. Oh, I know what that means. Talk to the hand. <laughs> That's a sign. You, you, know, you know what I'm talking about? Where someone, the little eye rolls. You guys ever watch Lie to Me, the TV show Lie to Me? Yeah. I love that show. Okay, because yeah, like. <laughs> it's, it's classic reporting techniques, okay? You know what, you know what we're talking about, Lie to Me? It's like, mm -hmm. These guys are, are experts in, in micro expressions, <laughs> okay? If I do this, I'm really doing that. That's a, it's kind of a you know. In the, in the, there are, if I if I do this, if I look away, there's there's things that you do when you lie. There's things that you do when you express contempt. There's things that you do when you when you think something's ludicrous. That they're just micro expressions, and it's really what you feel. And you're very sophisticated as a grown up, and and you're, you you know, you try your best to hide it, but a little bit comes up, and that's their. And they're, they're basically the TV shows about these experts who get themselves placed in, 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 in amazing situations and they use their, their, their nano expression skills to save the planet. So, <clears throat> but, you know, I love, I love the, the drill because that's very much like what journalists are trying to do, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I see it resonating. Yeah, you need to learn that. Well, yeah. can a journalist stay in a particular beat for a long time and still not become cynical? Or is it... Do you, is Absolutely. It, is it recommended that they switch beats often? Is that a healthy exercise? Um, I think, I think a first. journalist can stay um, um, with with proper care and feeding with an editor, with um, you know, <laughs> um, um, from an editor, uh, um, um, can stay can stay fresh. The thing that's wonderful about once again the reporter editor relationship back to that again, um, just isn't taught. I'm starting to wonder. But it's it's just not taught enough this reporter editor thing. You know, it's just no one ever talks about it. You know, and it's 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 the, the crux of the journalism. It's how it you know, how it works. It's how you help your how you help the planet. Is you, the reporter is re, is required to be like I say the energy person. Now, I'm going to call that. I'm going to find out about that. I want to know everything that's possible. Something's something's behind that. You know, and I'm and I'm going to do the ten things. And the editor is you know sitting back and saying, okay, how's this working for us? You know, how's it, is this productive? Is this, and it's the editor can start to see the eye roll, or start to say, I've seen it all before, or start to say, you know, I don't, I don't believe anybody anymore. <laughs> They'll see the signs. You know, it's 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 you know, um, um, the biblical principles are bitterness. Okay, you know, root of bitterness. Okay, there's a there's a sort of a root of bitterness that can start to grow up. It's very dangerous in your soul. You might you might be perfectly justified with respect to the unfair circumstances, and I, I, I've never read in the Bible that all circumstances must be fair all the time. Did you guys ever see that in the Bible? If you have, please point it to me, because I really need it. Um, but we all know it's not there. Um, um, so, circumstances aren't um, completely fair. Yeah, it get, you know, God's creation doesn't owe you justice. Uh, um, um, you need someone to, to um, take the judgment for you. It's really... Um, 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 what 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 scripture says? Okay. 
So we we're going to find ourselves in a, a difficult situation. So even in a justified difficult situation, Scripture also warns us against the root of bitterness because it starts to color everything that we we start to measure everything that we we see and do and and process with this root of you know it's really unfair. I really you know there's a you, you know everyone's root of bitterness produces different uh, dimension of bad fruit but there's a you know what you know what I'm talking about we all we all fight that in our, in our souls it's, you know, it's, it's, it's universal to the human condition you know that spiritually that you got to fight that okay well you same principles apply with, with the in reporter editor really so you, or reporter um, um, needs to be cared for uh, um, um, they're supposed to be the eager everything's new what is different about this um, um, who keeps the editor accountable? Uh, the, publisher. the publisher, maybe. You know, that's that's a very good question. Who keeps the editor accountable? The, uh, the, the subscriptions. The, the subscriptions keep the editor <laughs> <laughs> keep the editor uh, accountable. You know, with the, the viability, the health of the the the, the, the participation of the of the publication in the in the, in the grand uh, in the marketplace, somewhat keeps these either. I mean, we all know some publications whose editors need a good spanking, don't we? <laughs> So there you go. I mean, it's, that's the, the. I happen to like journalism for you know for many different reasons, but one of them is, is it to me it's very biblical because you're out there to see. You know, it's it's it, you're out there. You know, you're you know whether you had a good week or not. You, you know, for those working journalists, you know, it's just out there. You just write your stories, you look at them, and they're good or not. You know, you know where you had a good week or not. You know, it's just. You know, so many people have these jobs where they work, you know, for hours and hours and hours, and they go through a whole, and they go through like a evaluation every six months or every year, and they, they talk to their bosses, and somehow, out of that cloud, they determine whether they've made a contribution to the plan or not. It sounds horrible to me. <laughs> I mean, I need I need to read every week <laughs> as to whether I'm doing, and it just it's once again the biblical principle of accountability, you know, because you just you know what you did. So, and there's that there's that. There's that wonderful uh, uh, relationship that you have with uh, with the reality. <laughs> that uh, that is very, very, very helpful. Since I found it uh, appealing.